president of South Sudan has sacked six ministers allied to former first vice president and rival Riek Machar. The firing late Tuesday by Salva Kiir draws threats of more fighting between the government forces of Kiir and those loyal to Machar. President Kiir filled the vacant posts with people linked to a breakaway faction of Machar's SPLM-IO party. Meanwhile, South Sudan is facing a massive humanitarian and displacement crisis with thousands of refugees fleeing to neighboring countries and many becoming internally displaced. The UN Refugee Agency has reported that the number of South Sudanese refugees fleeing to Uganda over the past 10 days has doubled to more than 52,000 since fighting erupted three weeks ago in Juba between the government and rebel forces. Those arriving in Uganda have reported that a variety of armed groups, some allied with the government and others with rebel forces, and still others seeking to profit from the chaotic situation, have been preventing people from leaving South Sudan. Refugees have also reported that armed groups operating across different parts of South Sudan are looting villages, murdering civilians, and forcibly recruiting young men and boys into their ranks. The displacement and health situation inside South Sudan is even worse. The United Nations reports more than 1.6 million people are internally displaced and an estimated 4.8 million people are short of food. South Sudan uh, has three main causes of death, in fact, epidemiologically speaking. Malaria first, respiratory infection second, uh, and uh, uh, cholera uh, third. Uh, we have also seen a lot of uh, cases of malnutrition. Unfortunately, what we know is there are many, many cases of malnourished children, and the situation now uh, remains very precarious. Another 1,000 have fled to Kenya, bringing the number of South Sudanese refugees in that country to 7,000. The latest upsurge of refugees has brought the overall number of South Sudanese refugees to nearly 900,000, since the civil war broke out in December 2013. The escalating balance has put the fragile ceasefire agreement hatched last August between South Sudanese President Salva Kiir and opposition leader Riek Machar on life support, along with the recently formed unity government.